even before the announcement of the team or uh, the captaincy, even to get the invitation uh, was, was a pretty special feeling, a pretty special moment for me, to be honest. Uh, and then obviously being selected and uh, being asked to be captain is, uh, is pretty special. Um, something I wasn't expecting. So, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. And uh, I think just being a part of the group has been, has been brilliant. And um, I think we're getting to know each other. We're enjoying these nice surroundings. And uh, I think we have to understand the importance of that we, we, we give the jersey the justice it's and the, what it deserves, you know. So uh, it's going to be a tough game. We've got limited preparation, but uh, I think you can see from the quality of players we have that we're certainly going to give it a fair crack, and uh, I think everybody must, wants to make the most of the opportunity. And how did Robbie let you know, and, and when did he? Uh, well, this morning we obviously had a, a bit of a meeting before we went to training, and uh, he uh, he said, "Would I would I like to be captain?" And I said, "Listen, it's entirely up to you. It's I'd, I'd, I'd jump at it if I got the chance." And he just said, "Yeah, but well, that's well, that's what we want to do." So um, I was delighted to accept it, but I think. In such a short period, short period of time, it's it's not really about an individual thing, or it's just someone has to be captain. So, probably because I'm Irish, it probably said it was the easiest thing to do. But um, I think it's just been great being involved in such a such a good group of lads, group of players, and uh, you know, um, it's been a good few days so far. And you mentioned the group of lads. You know, how has it been? You know, you've been with them for a day now. You know, enjoying these sort of uh, you know eclectic mix. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I have a newfound respect for the United Nations. I think after our line eight session this morning. So, we have guys from uh, Georgia, Uruguay, Japan, Ireland, England, in the pack, and various other countries. You know, so uh, it's brilliant because everybody brings something different. Everybody brings something positive, and uh, I think we got a give each other a bit of space to try and make sure that we digest these calls and the patterns that we want to do. Nothing's too complicated, but um, it's certainly different to what we're probably used to in our own individual clubs. So, uh, yeah, it's been brilliant. And we had a few pints last night in keeping with the tradition of Bahrain Rugby Club. So uh, we, uh, we're going out and having, having a nice round of golf. And, uh, yeah, we're getting to know each other and, uh, you know, we're building up to Thursday. And then when it's all done on Sunday, what would be, the, what would be a success for you? It's it's hard to uh, probably quantify in terms of you know everybody wants to win, but the reality is is quite different when you're coming up against two good international teams, especially when they've had probably a little bit more preparation in terms of being around each other for a bit longer through other campaigns. But I think we definitely have to keep in spirit of the club and the way they uh, the way previous players have played it for the club, and uh, we got to work hard for each other. I think if we work hard for each other in defence and we try and play the game the right way, the way the tradition has gone with the barbarians, that we can probably walk away on Thursday and on Sunday happy so but I think uh, you've got a group of competitive guys as well you know and a, a group of proud guys that that want to win as well so it's a good combination but we're also very aware we're coming against two good teams and you know it makes for a good occasion.